Hello and welcome to a tutorial on creating a dynamic events calendar using Crocoblox Jet Engine in the Bricks theme. My name is Andrew and I'd like to remind you to like our videos, comment with questions or suggestions for new topics, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe to stay updated on new tutorials and exciting WordPress tool updates. On my website, I have installed the Jet Engine plugin and activated its dynamic calendar module. I also have the Bricks theme enabled and in its settings I selected the post types I want to edit with Bricks, including the custom post type I created earlier for events that will be displayed in the dynamic calendar. Now let's look at this custom post type in the Jet Engine dashboard. So far I've only assigned it a name and a slug without further customizations. Next I'm going to add meta fields to store information about the events I want displayed in the calendar. The first is a day type field, which determines where the event will appear on the calendar. It's important to enable the save as timestamp toggle to allow custom posts to be sorted by this date. I will also create another day type field for multi-day events, which will mark the end date of the event. Remember to enable the save as timestamp toggle for this field as well. Next, I'll add a media type field to hold an illustration relevant to the event and a text area field for short description. I will now create four custom event posts using the data I've prepared in advance. For one of the events, I'll fill in the end date field, leaving it blank for the other three. After creating the post, I need to build a listing template, which will later define how the event data is presented on the calendar. To create a template, go to Jet Engine, select Listings and click the Add New button. Set the listing source to Post and for the post type, choose the previously created custom post type. Assign it a name, select the Bricks Editor to build the listing and click Create Listing Item. In the editor window, I'll insert a section element with the container and within the container I'll add elements to pull dynamic information from the custom posts. The first element is a dynamic field. In its general contents section, the first drop-down allows you to choose the data source. By selecting post data and choosing title as the object field, the post title will be displayed in the listing template, essentially showing the event's name. Next, I use a dynamic image element to fetch the illustration for the event. In this case, the element source field automatically offers options for image storage locations. So I select the relevant custom post type field and the image from one of the posts is displayed in the editor. For the third dynamic field, I use a dynamic link. Without any additional customization, it offers a read more label and automatically connects the custom post type through its permalink. Remember that the listing item we're building defines how the custom post is displayed through dynamic grids, but not the post itself, which requires separate efforts. These three elements allow the display of the event's name, related image and provide a link to the original event post on the page that displays the listing. However, I haven't used the event description data, as it would take too much space in the calendar cell if displayed constantly. There's a trick to show this information on demand using Bricks built-in CSS only tooltips, which can be set through the custom attributes functionality. You can easily find the necessary attributes for the tooltips in Bricks official documentation, as I did. Here's how I set it up. I want the event description to pop up when users hover over the event icon in the calendar, which is wrapped in the root section element. In the listing template, I open the section style settings and access the attributes block. Then I add an attribute and in the name field, I enter data-balloon, which is the tooltip HTML attribute suggested by Bricks. For the value, I use the dynamic data button to pull the events description from the custom post type field. I also add a few more attributes, one to split the description into several lines and another to display the text on the right side of the listing item. We'll check how this looks on the front end later. Let's make a few more style modifications to the listing elements. I want to style the link field as a button and place it above the image using margin settings.
For the event title, I'll move it to the right side of the space it occupies and set a line height in case it splits into two lines on the front end. In the container style settings, I'll add a thin black border to the listing section and set the top margin to minus 25. I'll explain the reason for this when we review the listing integrated into the calendar layout. I will also disable image linking. Let's save the changes and proceed to creating a new page and edit it with the Bricks Builder. On the newly created page, I set up the same initial structure as the listing item, starting with a section and a container. Next, I add the dynamic calendar element into the container. In the dynamic calendar general content settings, we can locate the listing we just worked on and group the posts by date by specifying the relevant jet engine field. We should also enable the allow multi-day events option to select the appropriate field since we have an event with the end date field. There are several additional content settings that may be useful for adjusting how events are displayed in the calendar grid. In the weekdays format drop-down list, you can select how the weekday names will appear, full, short or initial letter. The start from custom months toggle allows you to choose any month and year as the default view, otherwise the calendar will display the current months first. The show post from the nearby months toggle displays events from the previous or upcoming months while the hide past events option ensures that events that have already ended will not be shown. Let's check how the dynamic event calendar looks on the front end now, before making any styling adjustments in the bricks preview mode. I want to make minor changes to the dynamic calendar design such as adding a background color to the top row of days of the week and creating borders to separate the cells. The event listing items also need some adjustments. Since I changed the listing top margin value to minus 25, the listings are now positioned higher in the calendar day cell covering the date label, but the entire layout requires additional modifications. Let's switch back to the editor screen. In the style settings, I'm going to proceed to the days section and add a solid border for each cell. To avoid double borders, I'll go to the table base section and choose the collapse layout option. Next, I want to adjust the padding of the event listings as they currently take up too much space. To do this, I'll find the event day padding settings in the day section and reduce the default 10 pixels to 5 pixels. The date label is currently positioned at the leftmost side of the listing section so I'll also adjust its layout by modifying the date label padding settings, which are located in the day section as well. Finally, I'll make a few modifications to the overall calendar design, such as adding a shadow and changing the background color of the top row with the day labels. Now we're ready to check the final version on the front end. The events listings are sorted according to the data in the date fields and when you hover over a listing, you can see the information from the event description field. Clicking on the read more link will take you to the source post for the specific event. This post might contain additional details about the event or a booking form, and you can change the read more label to book now for improved navigation. That concludes our basic overview of integrating Jet Engine with the Bricks theme for displaying custom post type in dynamic calendar layout. The brick style settings offer great flexibility for calendar design, while the dynamic functionality remains robust thanks to Crocoblock plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under the video and subscribe for updates on more Crocoblock integrations with popular WordPress builders. See you next time, cheers!